Cheers guys and welcome to another edition of our High Five series. This time we were with a band from Tel Aviv called Lara Snow here at the Muffat Halle and let's meet the band. They say two wrongs make a right, but people always lie. You never gave me nothing, nothing to dream about. I will never take a stand when it comes to you and I. I think it's time to realize you'll never learn to fly. We're here with Lara and Jonathan from Lara Snow. Um, we're taking the stage night with kites together at the Muffat Halle. And my first question is, you guys are from, uh, from the creative capital of Israel, from uh, Tel Aviv. How would you describe the, the musical culture there? Um, the culture there is very, very um, big. Like There are a lot of bands and a lot of really good music, really good art. Mm -hmm. um, the scene is... Like a really cool place to be from, like very inspiring. Friendly. Okay, is there any kind of dominance uh, of a genre, or is there much room for creative impulses to say we're doing something different, like you guys do? I think there is room. <coughs> Sorry, I think uh, there's a lot of room, like a lot of different bands that are doing completely different stuff, which is really nice. And yeah, definitely, it's not not something specific. Okay, um, and how did you guys find yourselves? How did you form the band? Because it's always nice to know the creative process that is behind uh, a band and how did you develop your style of music? Because it's very specific and very special. Yeah, yeah. well for me, Lara Snow started as my solo project at first. Um, I, was, I was part of bands for a lot of years. I come from like more kind of uh, punk rock kind of background. So I grew up as a teenager playing in punk bands and I used to like work a lot with people and then at some point in my life it's just it, it was always like not working. It was always like we were always like breaking up and so I decided like okay now I have to do something of my own and to like be the boss of my thing. So I decided to take uh, like production class and at a really cool local um, like institute and that's the way it kind of started. I took some lessons and, um, and then I just started to produce my own demos. And I released the first song, just to put it out on the internet, not really li released it. It was um, the first time I ever just put something out there. Yeah. And then Jonathan, he was uh, actually playing. Yeah, I, was, I was on tour with my other band. Yeah. I also had like a punk rock band in my past. <laughs> ah, okay. And yeah. I was on tour and I was listening to this and I was like, whoa, she's got a great voice. She looks so good. I really want to work with her. Mm -hmm. And I just wrote her and we decided to do that. And I guess yeah. if you ask about the music, I think one of the things for us which is important that we wanted to do like electronic music because she already knew how to produce and do the stuff, mm -hmm. but we wanted the, to be like kick-ass music. Yeah. One we could be proud as, you know, like a punk rocker kind of dudes. Mm -hmm. Yeah, sure. You can definitely listen to that when you, you hear your music, that, that background that you have. Yeah, like, um, we, we like it uh, with power into it, we like our music, like with power also when we play live just to kick just to kick it, you know, not, not to be like... Kick some very, ass. Yeah, it's like, you can say ass. <laughs> like, you can, yeah. with us ass, you can, yeah. yeah. Sure. Yeah, so. and, and speaking about your music, you just released your second single, yeah. uh, I Like Snow, mm -hmm. um, which was, I think, two weeks ago. And it's a lot more aggressive, a lot more raw than, mm -hmm. than your last single. True. And um, how, um, how do you describe the process of developing this song? And especially, how does the, the lyrics, the, the, the line, I like snow fit into the rest of the lyrics because it's about breakup, right? Ah, uh, yeah, it is. <laughs> it's uh, it's about uh, Alex. Now is basically like a song about anger. It's okay. about like the the part of a breakup or a, or or even a relationship where you're just become angry because like things are not going your way and you're unhappy and you just want to you know like break down the walls and you would just <laughs> sure. you know go crazy over it so uh, the thing with I like snow is it's a collaboration with a producer named Safra and I think that's why also the sound of it is a bit more raw and a bit more uh, kind of aggressive. You know, aggressive yeah and um, so we made it together and I remember that I got very inspired when Safra was playing the um, like very rough kind the of very rough synthesizer that yeah. starts the song and I was like oh I, I, I have to rap 
worked like on it and I have I had some crazy ideas and I was like okay and then I went and I wrote the verses and I we all really liked them but I had no idea like for the chorus I was like oh I, I didn't have it and then Safra was like okay this is like this is a song about like being angry and about being mad but but maybe like in the in the chorus we should go somewhere like you know, somewhere brighter, maybe like somewhere that you can say, hey, but I still love myself inside all of this, you know. So, but it's not only about that, it's like a mix, but but it's it's mainly about like, you know, yeah. still having the strength to look at, like, look at yourself and say, hey, I'm cool. <laughs> yeah, sure. So you got a metaphor in the, in the rap to just say that. Yeah. Yeah, and speaking about being aggressive and really um, putting it out there, you guys get a lot of credit for your live shows because you really leave it out there, you just, you just rock hard. Yeah. Uh, what would you say, saying that, uh, what was your most memorable show to this day, if you had to pick one? Well, a few, few very good ones, but I think yeah. one of the best ones were actually the showcase in Berlin. Did you like this Yeah, one? yeah, that was good. Was really uh, nice. We had a few really good ones. Um, we, toured, we toured a few places in Europe before we decided to settle in Germany for a while. Mm -hmm. And like one of my uh, really good memories from like not so long ago is we played um, a festival in uh, Rochlitz mm -hmm. and it was a really good show. Um, it was uh, I think our first headline show in, uh, not headline, but like not support show in Germany and the crowd was great and I was, I could really feel their connecting to the music which for me it was really important to see how it goes. First time that I really put everything out there, we played like I think it was like 12 songs yeah. or something like a full set and not like only like a support show so and it went really well. Nice, nice. You, yeah. you led perfectly to my next question because we're talking about Germany. You guys yeah. moved from uh, Tel Aviv to, to Berlin. Yeah. So now you're kind of German residents as well. <laughs> and yeah, what would you say is the special thing about a German audience because you must like to play there, you said it before. Yeah. And how do, do German audiences embrace you guys with that new style of music? I think they like it. It's actually, it's nice. Yeah, I, mean, I, I think uh, they're cu curious about it, which is very good because I think it's our genre is not very common in Germany, like from what I can tell at the moment, no, maybe. Yeah. So, um, but I think they're very open and they really like it and we get a lot of like uh, really cool, um, people always say like that like, a lot of people like may sometimes compare us to German artists that we don't know, like German artists mm -hmm. that sing in German, yeah, sure. which is which is pretty cool because yeah. it's like it reminds them of something of their own. And even mm -hmm. sometimes like we go after and like we, we listen to the, these artists and like we don't not always feel like they really are similar to us. But I think that it's cool that everybody can find in our music something that makes them feel uh, like that feels f like familiar to them. Yeah. You know, which is I think exactly. it's good. Yeah, it's a good basis. Yeah. So. Uh, speaking of that, we hope you have a great show tonight. Oh, and thank you. Uh, thank you very much for the interview. Thank you. Thank you. High, yeah, five. high five. Yeah. Thank you very much. Thank you.